Many of us spend more than half of our waking life going to a job that we either hate or are completely unfulfilled in. But we all accept it. It's what we have to do. Because we have bills and a lot of times we see it as our only option. Now let's touch on something very important here. I don't believe you should go to a job you hate every day or one that you are unfulfilled in. But the truth is, it takes more than just wanting to be in another job or career situation to see it happen. If you are an adult with kids, a husband or wife, and maybe even a friend or family member that you have agreed to help through a difficult time, you have responsibility to people other than yourself. Now it's true that with all these responsibilities, you can still make a lifestyle or career change and be able to get most of everyone on board as long as you explain the importance of it. But you do still have a responsibility that must be considered before or while the change is occurring. So this brings me to the topic of the video, being happy in the meantime. So let's say you have decided to go for that career change or pursue that dream. How do you not hate every day while trying to get there? Well, you take your days in small bites. This is what's current working for me. I get up every day and before I do anything else with my day, I work on my dream. Then I do some self care. Then I get ready for my work day. When I come home, I try to blend a little working on my dream while spending time with my family. Now for me, my family is the most important thing to me. More important than my dream. More important than the job I hate. However, I know I cannot be the best mom, wife, sister, daughter I could be if I have a dream or personal goal out there left unfulfilled. So even though I love my family, and if it were up to me, I would spend every waking day solely spending time with each one of them until either I or one of them pass from this earth. But there's another calling that I'm aware of in my life, and I know I must fulfill it. So here is what I do to enjoy the job that I don't enjoy. Number one, I work on my dreams and personal goals every day before I go to the job I don't enjoy. Number two, I keep the things that are most important to me in the forefront of my mind at all times. Number three, I view my job that I don't enjoy as the tool I'm using to get to the dream I desire. Number four, I try to find something that I contribute every day to the job in my own unique way that is beneficial to my coworkers and the company. This usually makes me feel like I'm not just showing up to a job I hate, but that I am choosing to contribute my own unique skills for some greater good. Don't know if this will work for you, but it definitely helps me. Number five. I see myself as being in an advanced life and career course. I try to view all the things I hate about my job as an accelerated course towards the achievement of my dream or dream career. From experience, I have noticed that every job I have had, I have learned something that turned out to be very valuable in the next job. Number six. I know and believe that everything is passing and temporary. This job is temporary and the things I hate about it are passing. The only thing that I know that will remain unchanged is me wanting to do better and to do more. So I know that pursuing my dreams will always be there even when I have reached them. I know I will always want to do more or better. Number seven. 
Well, I felt like I needed to add a number seven because having six ways felt weird. So number seven will actually only reiterate a number that I feel has been most helpful and that is, and that is the number one and number six. I work on my dream every day so I don't feel like I'm just spending every waking day doing something I hate. And I understand that the job I hate is temporary and the reason I hate it is passing. These two things help me the most every day. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Until next time, let's agree to live happy one moment at a time.